Hey friends, welcome back to Pin Up with the Pom Pons. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair. From the way we style and care, as well as giving you hairstyle inspiration that is quick and easy to achieve with minimum effort. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos every Saturday and Sunday. To all my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend. It's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video. So here we have Callista. In this tutorial, we're gonna do three of her styles for the week. So school is back in section. So we are back to our regular regular schedule of putting out more content for you guys as far as hairstyles. During the summers, the girl definitely just laid around the house and enjoyed doing absolutely nothing, but it's time to get back into the grind. I'm starting out by applying the Camille Rose uh, Curl Milk. And I love how soft this makes her hair, which helps with detangling, because as you can see, her hair is pretty tangled up. It's not too bad, I've definitely seen worse. She's had like complete matted balls, sometimes spider webs going on, but she just had a few knots that I just had to work out, and I'm going in using that wide tooth comb to detangle her hair. So I'm uh, doing a half style, so half of her hair in the back is going to be pinned up for later, and then I did a part down the middle so we split that half style in to another half so I'm starting out by sectioning off a small piece in the front and then the back I went ahead and rubber band up with an elastic band because I kind of wanted to put her hair into two ponytails and let her back hang out but I wanted to make the front look a little bit more spicy so I'm sectioning off these small sections going in with my edge effects conditioning gel I've been using this conditioning gel for probably going on a year now I speak highly of it I love it it smells good it doesn't have any kind of like residue especially if you don't use too much and it just melts into my girl's hair so I don't see like that just cake of gel just sitting on top of their hair it really just smooths its way in Elastic rubber bands are definitely my go-to for any kind of style that I do with Kalissa hair. She has fine hair, so the elastic work rubber bands work great for her. Okay, so the regular rubber bands will usually cause like tugging and pulling, and you can just tell that it's just a little too tight for her hair rather than the elastic bands. They have this slip to them, so I don't have to worry about like this excessive pull and tension on her hair. So now we're working on that back piece, and like I said, her hair was pretty tangled. So as you see, I'm starting at the ends of her hair using my wide tooth comb, and I'm working my way up the shaft of the hair, and every time I come to a knot, I te kind of tease it and then work its way down the shaft of her hair so it her hair can be completely detangled And I pretty much use the same method when detangling her hair every time we t do go for a restyle. Once I've detangled most of those big knots out using the wide tooth comb, I then go behind it with the detangling brush to kind of smooth it out. Now I'm going in with the All About Curls Boosting Foam. I picked this up randomly at, for a random trip that I took to Sally Beauty. I've been using it for probably about a month now and I just love this product on Callista. Now Callista's curls don't require heavy products nor do they require like a heavy amount of product so I feel like foam would be a perfect fit for her because she has already this fine hair I don't want heavy products to weigh down her curls so the foam gives her this nice lift as well as the perfect amount of hold while giving her curls the right definition and I have been in love with it the foam isn't sticky like sometimes you have that foam that gives you like that sticky residue definitely don't have that issue at all it's fast drying so it doesn't take like half the day for her curls to dry I usually don't go back and have to retouch up her curls at all. She does experience a little bit of frizz from just regular wear of having the style in for a couple of days but for the most part the foam is amazing.
And now we're moving on to style number two. So I kind of want to discuss a little bit about Callista's hair routine. Her hair does not get done every single day. I don't touch her hair every day. And sometimes she doesn't have like these immaculate styles that we share on our Instagram page and on our YouTube channel. Um, sometimes she's just walking around with a simple braided ponytail, a bun, something very simple and just keeps her hair out of the way until I do have the strength or the time to come back and restyle her hair. I have three girls. I do my hair myself as well as doing my husband's hair okay so everybody's head gets done by me so a lot of times I don't have the luxury of just spending the entire day doing everybody's hair so like these are her glam styles but do not get me wrong she definitely has her simple everyday realistic just a ponytail in her head style as well so for this one I wanted to do a ponytail style because again I just didn't feel like coming up with anything extra so this one is very simple and anyone can do this and so for this rendition of a ponytail I'd part it off like a diagonal part across her head and I'm sectioning off small little squares in the front to uh, use an elastic band to hold those together now I wanted to do like a little rainbow effect so I started with red and try to move to orange yellow and blue and green so I can always come up with different color combos it's always different ways to style this so even though I'm doing a rainbow effect on this style next week I can do the style again and decide to do all blue or all red or all pink blue and pink yellow and green you know, the customization is just you know endless with these cute and adorable styles especially for little girls So now that I have sectioned off all her hair, as you can see, we have about five little squares in the front of her head. We're then gonna work on that ponytail. So I'm brushing everything upwards, going in with my detangling brush. And I try to make sure I'm using a brush that has bristles long enough to reach that center of the ponytail. If the hair is a little bit thick, try to section it off into maybe two sections and try to work with it because you don't want the middle of the ponytail to look bulky and it just doesn't look sleek smooth or clean at all then I'm going in and taking those small little ponytails we did in the front to add them to our big ponytail Of course, I'm going in with the All About Curls Boosting Foam. Like I said, I love this stuff. It's so simple, so easy, and I just love the results I get from using them. Now, as much as I love using this boosting foam, my favorite tool to use on Callista and Kehlani is the Boar Bristle Brush. And that's that brush you see me holding. And this brush smooths their hair out so well and detang helps detangle as well and then clumps those curls together so they have this nice spiral effect. Now, I did forget to finish that hairstyle, so we're moving on to style number three. So in this style, I'm going in with the Cream of Nature Detangler leave-in conditioner now her hair is a little bit more detangled than usual she wore a ponytail for a couple of days and I just haven't gotten to it so I'm adding a little bit of water as well as that cream of nature detangling and this is going to help me detangle her hair again it works just like that Camille Rose curl love where it softens the hair and it makes it so much easier to get those small knots out of her hair now, although I do love using my wide tooth comb and my detangling brush to detangle her hair, sometimes your hands and your fingers can be a great detangler as well, especially if you feel like the comb is tugging just a little too much. And I always look for those signs where Calissa's kind of like flinching because of the pain of the detangling. If that does happen, I try to revisit the knot with either my hands or work a, a little bit more product in there to help soften it up.
Now, again, going there with my conditioning gel, I did a part going from ear to ear across the crown of her head, and I used this gel to clean up my parts as well. I love seeing clean parts. They may not be straight, but they gonna always be clean. And I'm going in with my parting comb and I'm pushing that product in her head as well as just retracing the original part we did just to make sure it is nice and clean and as straight as possible. And, and again, for this style, I'm going in doing some small sections in the front so I can rubber band those off with some colorful elastic bands. And again, these styles are just so easy and you can always play with them and tweak them to however you like. For this style, I decided to go in with the colors that kind of match her outfit today. She's wearing this uh, tie dye with all the beautiful colors in there, vibrant colors. And uh, luckily my elastic bands kind of pretty much match those same colors. So I'm going in with the gel to smooth everything down lay down her baby hairs or keep them out of the way and then just rubber band those off I'm doing four sections in the front and then we're gonna move to the back of the head Once all of the sections are done in the front, I'm then gonna go in and braid each section. And then I'm going to connect those braids in the back as well using some more colorful elastic bands. And now it's time to work on the rest of the head. I'm going in again with that boosting foam. Like I said, love this stuff. And I'm using a good amount um, and I'm working it through trying to finger detangle her hair. Then I'm gonna section off a small piece going in with my bore bristle brush to smooth those curls clump them together and just look at that beautiful definition that she gets and this is just using a foam and that's what I love the most about Calista's hair it takes little to nothing for her curls to just come out popping now the top of the hair I kind of like pull those curls upwards and then back just so she gets a little bit of lift at the roots because she does lack volume this kind of helps so when the curls do dry she has like bigger curls that you can see in the back Now we had somewhere to go, so I didn't have a time to allow her hair to air dry. So I'm zapping it real quick, going in with my Shark IQ blow dryer, and I'm going in with the diffuser attachment. It is on a low heat at a medium speed for the fan. And then once it's pretty much like 80% dry, I'm then gonna go in with the Black Seed Baby Grow and Glow Oil to add shine and to hold in that moisture and just to kind of break up those curls a little bit so she has a little bit more volume in the back and that is it. Once it's completely dry, it'll still have that nice beautiful shine and that great definition. Now this style could have worked by itself, but I decided to go in with some hair bows because I love hair bows and Calista loves hair bows, so why not? So I went in with two hair bows on the back side of her hair where those braids meet together and I couldn't decide if I like the glitter ones or these cute little jelly ones but either way again you can always opt out for no bows at all and that completes our video today of Calista's weekly hairstyles thank you guys for joining us on another video don't forget to check out our many other tutorials here on our channel we greatly appreciate having you guys be blessed and be safe